Hi, it's Chester Tubwell at Blue PK Computer Training. In this video, we're going to learn about how to put drop down lists and option buttons on a VBA user form. Uh, I'm not going to teach you how to create a VBA user form from scratch because I've just done a video on that. Uh, if you look on my channel, the last video before this one teaches you how to set up a user form, how to create the buttons that run sub procedures etc. So I don't want to go over that again. This is purely just looking at how to set up the drop down lists. So basically this user form is going to be used to enter new staff details into a database and I have that database already set up on my spreadsheet. You're going to press that button, the user form is going to pop up and it's going to give you drop down lists for position and line manager. And you've got two location options, Brighton and Bristol that you're going to have option buttons for. Now, what I have got, another sheet here with the sources for my drop-down list. So you can put your the values you want to appear in a drop-down list uh, in your spreadsheet. And what you're going to do is give those uh, lists a named reference, so like a bookmark to those lists. So I'm going to call this one role, and I'm going to call this one line manager can't have a space in a name okay so they're nice and set up so i'm now ready to have a look at how to create the drop down lists in my user form so first of all we'll do it for role we'll have a drop down list here a role so i'm going to use the combo box control for that so i'm going to click on there click in my user form change its size so it's about the right size so then what I've got to do is to link this drop down list control to the source for that control which is going to be basically that named column that I created earlier on now to get to it because this is a little bit far off the screen I'm just actually going to get you can go to alphabetical and scroll right down but it really is far down it's the property you're looking for is called a row source. So if I go to categorized, I can see it. So row sources here. And what I'm going to do is just type in that name I gave to that list in my spreadsheet. So now I've done that, I've typed in role. I've now got that drop down list of values appearing in my user form. Now, because this user form is going to be linked to a sub procedure that is going to use that value, the value that someone chooses, selects in that drop down list. I'm going to have to refer to that control in my VBA code. So I'm going to give it a sensible name. So in this name attribute here, I'm going to call it CBO, combo box, role. Another option for showing a list of values is to use the list box. So if I draw that there, again, what I've got to do is create the row source for this list. And the name I gave to that column was line manager. And there we'll see that the list of line managers appears nicely in my user form. And again, what I'm going to do is give that a name because I'm going to have to refer to it. So I'm going to call it list LST line manager. Okay. So finally, I want the user to be able to choose a location. There are only two locations. It's either Brighton or Bristol. To do that, I'm going to use some little option buttons. I'm going to put them in a frame. And then I can give that frame a better caption. Let's do it down here. Location. And I'm going to put my little option buttons in there. So that one will go for Bristol. And I'm going to give it a name, OPT option button, Bristol. I'm 
and I'm going to do something similar for Brighton. And call that OPT option button Brighton. And you can play around a little bit with the appearance of it. But you get the idea you've now got the two buttons that allow you to specify the location for the new member of staff. OK, so I'm going to double click on this command button here so you can see the code that's executed um, when I want to add these details to my database. So this is the code that runs and you can see where it uses those control names I created. So we didn't actually create the first name and last name controls. They were already on the form, but you can see how the staff name is generated. It's a concatenation of the first name and the last name. Then basically we go across a column and we enter the values that have been entered or selected in the combo box, the role com combo box that we created earlier on. And then we go across another column and enter the value that's been selected in our list of line managers. Then for the option box for the location, got a little if statement there that basically says if the option Brighton is true, so if it's selected, then the staff name, I mean, the uh, not the staff name, the location, which is three columns across, is Brighton. If it's not, then if the option Bristol has been selected, enter Bristol in the location. And then I'm just going to auto fit the columns and then close the file. So that's the code that's actually executed. Let's see how the user form actually works. So if I put in uh, another name, so say Victoria Plumber, there's my drop down list of roles. So I can select a role, I can select a line manager, I can select a location, add to the database, closes the file and adds that person to my database of staff. OK, so just a little video there to show you how to add those drop down lists to your VBA user form. It's been Chester Tuckwell at Blue BK Computer Training. Thanks very much for listening.